Well, after more than 30 years of being missing, valuable church artifacts, including a stolen reliquary of St. Galgano, were recently discovered in Italy. EWTN News Room correspondent Colin Flynn joins us now. Colin, great to see you. So tell us about this remarkable story. Great to see you too, Tracy. And yes, a surprising story and a very good news story as the announcement was made that police in Sicily had raided the home of an antique collector and discovered a 14th century reliquary of St. Galgano, which had been stolen from a Catholic seminary museum 32 years ago in a small village in Italy's Tuscany region. Now, the item was seized by police near the city of Catania in the south of Italy, along with a medieval gilded crucifix and six silver chalices, which had also been taken from the seminary museum. The items are extremely valuable, particularly the reliquary of St. Galgano, which had originally been forged by goldsmiths in Siena and Rome over 700 years ago. Now, St. Galgano was a nobleman and a knight from the 12th century who they say, after having seen a vision of Michael the Archangel, thrust his sword into a stone and became a hermit. And, of course, that image of the sword stuck in a stone is very famous now all over the world. Indeed it is. And, you know, really incredible to think that they found this after so long. Uh, Colm, how did this theft play out back in 1989? It is incredible, Tracy, and this theft took place on the night of July the 10th in 1989, when under the cover of darkness, four men crawled through a window of the Montadioso Catholic Seminary Museum. They proceeded to bypass an armored door by going through a hole in the wall, and they managed to escape with the 11 valuable and sacred items. And for the past three decades, their whereabouts were unknown until this raid, when they were uncovered by the Sicilian unit of the Carabinieri. That's the name of the Italian police force. Now, the Carabinieri have not released the name of the collector who was holding these artifacts, but they did say that he was not able to provide a valid explanation as to how he came into possession of them. And it's not known if they're going to bring any criminal charges against them in connection with the theft. One item that was stolen that night, it was a silver chalice dating back to the 17th century. That still remains missing. And Colin, before I let you go, what was the reaction to this fine? And do we know yet what will happen to these items? Of course, a very positive reaction, Tracy. And Italy's Minister for Culture has promised that the items would eventually be returned to where they were stolen from. But in the meantime, a lot of restoration work is needed to be done, which will be undertaken by the Vatican Museums just behind me. Barbara Jedda, who is the director of the Vatican Museums, she hailed the discovery as an unprecedented find and stressed that their value is not only historical and artistic, but is also very valuable from a devotional point of view. So now the Vatican Museum's Metals and Ceramics Restoration Laboratory, they will spend around six months working on the items to repair any damage incurred. They'll lead the conservation, restoration and maintenance before they will ultimately be returned home after being away for 30 years. Tracy? Just incredible. Thank you so much, Colin. Colin Flynn, EWTN News Rome co correspondent. Thank you again. Thank you, Tracy.